coming up on the 18 month anniversary of my big rack and it was here that I thought that I lost something. I thought that I lost something near and dear to me, which was not the car, not the brand new wheels I had just bought, not the trunk I had just painted, but the ability to use and have my big, huge battle arrow wing. I love this wing so much, and as of right now, it's just sitting in my attic. Because when I crashed my car, I bought a new one and swapped everything over, but I really liked the box wing that came with it. And I didn't want to change that. I didn't want to mess it up. I didn't want to have to drill more holes. So I just decided to keep it as is, paint matched looking excellent. However, I have grown tired of this look, but I don't want to get rid of it completely. So I've been left to ponder, what should I do? Why can't I have the best of both worlds? And then it and then it dawned on me, just buy a second trunk so that you can swap the two whenever you want. So for the past couple weeks, I've been looking around Facebook Marketplace, all over the internet, looking to see if I could get my hands on a new trunk lid. But I didn't want it in any color. I didn't want it to come any way. My old one was black and I liked the look of the black with the big wing and the silver with the silver wing. So I wanted to keep that. It's time for this week's installment of David tries to rip off strangers on the internet. Okay, so in the process of buying this trunk, I sent out a bunch of different offers to a ton of people for a hundred bucks. Literally nobody replied to me except for this one dude. He was offering the trunk for 200 bucks. I said, I'll do the trunk for a hundred. He says, how about 200? You're clearly a businessman. I'll counter that with 102. You're clearly broke, says the guy with the stock STI. But I respect it. What about 113? It wasn't stock and I sold it for more than I bought it for months ago. Dude, if you come up to 150 and pick it up, you can take it. So this got me thinking, I wonder if I just haggle with people and kind of be a little annoying, how low I can get these prices down to. I sent out a bunch of different requests for a bunch of different various items just to see what would happen. And I thought I'd share those with you really quickly. 175, 250, 200, 250 no lower, 230 cash tomorrow. Yes. Would you take nine? Yes, I would. I can do 3,000. Someone is coming to look at it right now. I'll let you know if it sells, but I will take 3,000. Would you consider 2,500? 2,700. This guy didn't want to do it. Would you consider 1,600? Yes. 2,200? 2, 25. This is either German or Spanish. I'm not a linguist. I said $12. She said yes, but die 12, 25. And this man did not want to sell his half-eaten pizza. I'm actually shocked at just how easy that was to get a bunch of people to just let me almost take their stuff. There's a really easy way to get a very good discount on pretty much anything you want. You just have to be patient enough to send out a bunch of texts and maybe you'll have to wait a little but if you do wait, you can get a seriously good deal. Anyway, I finally found one where someone actually responded and I didn't lowball her like crazy. I said 130 and she said it was totally fine. So made plans, was gonna go over there. And then the day of she texts me and says, actually, I just got it outside. It actually doesn't look that good and I feel bad. So why don't I give it to you for 110? And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds, <laughs> sounds good to me. And then she texts me again. She's like, oh yeah, actually it's really bad. We'll do 70. Bought her on the spot, brought it home. And that was just about that still has a bunch of holes in it, which I don't really feel like dealing with right now. So if you guys have any ideas on how I can kind of not paint the trunk, but fill those holes in so rain and stuff doesn't get in, leave it in the comments because I will be completing the trunk in the near future. But for now, I need a quick fix for that. My drill is broken, if you remember from my first video. And so I actually needed to use that hand crank one. But after measuring it out and making sure everything was all perfectly lined up, I mounted the little posts onto it. And that was really all I needed to do. All I had to do was just remove the four bolts that hold the trunk lid onto the car and then swap the trunks and toss the wing on. Probably took me about seven minutes. <laughs> and so now I just keep my trunk up on my bed. So now the next things that I'm gonna probably do are gonna be a front splitter and side skirts that are able to come off super easily so that I can put a whole arrow kit on my car in an hour and take it off in an hour. You know, swap the entire look of the car all at once. But I think the rest of that's gonna be put on hold until I can get my hands on my new truck that I'm desperately searching for at this point. I haven't found a lot. I think I'm actually gonna have to go out of state. But if you guys wanna see this truck and if you wanna see me build it and everything, go ahead and drop a like. It's gonna help me out a ton. And subscribe subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been an honor, it's been a pleasure, and I'll see you in the next one.